Hello friends, uh, welcome to AEM Learning and Training. I am Satish Chaudhary and I am bringing you yet another uh, tutorial on AEM. Hope you guys like it uh, and gain some knowledge out of it. So, so in this video I am going to talk about uh, the sling resolution process. In this video I will explain how sling maps to a servlet or a, a script. In AEM, scripts and servlets are itself resources and thus uh, they have a resource path. This is either the location in the JCI repository, the resource type could be a servlet configuration or a virtual path. And uh, as you all know, JCI stands for Java Content Repository and this is the backbone of a Sling model where all the data are stored in the form of nodes. A quick introduction to what we're gonna, what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about uh, understanding the sling resolution process, the basic steps for processing request, how do we decompose the URL, uh, resolve request to resources, locating and rendering scripts, and then finally understanding the entire URL de decomposition process. Let's, let's get into the basics of understanding a sling resol resolution process. So as I told uh, earlier, right, sling is a resource oriented. So all the resources are stored and maintained as virtual tree and resources are generally mapped to JCR nodes. So every URL in terms ends up pointing to a resource node, which is nothing but a, JC a node inside the JCR structure. We'll get to see more uh, in, in my further slides. A very uh, basic step of processing URL uh, goes through multiple process. Basically, it's broken down into multiple process. We'll go over each process uh, as we go through the video. To start with, we, we decompose the URL and then search for the respective nodes, identify the resources, resolve the script or servlet, and then we create the rendering chain. And finally, we invoke the rendering change. We'll discuss uh, each item in details as part of my next slide. Let, let's talk about decomposing the URL. Say for example, we have a sample URL which says http colon slash slash learnaem.com slash aem slash sling resolution dot printable dot a4 dot html slash a slash b and then we have a query parameter x equal to true. How does Sling break this URL or how does Sling decompose this URL? So very, the first part of it is very basic. So we have HTTP colon uh, learnaem.com which is nothing but the protocol and the host name. Then comes uh, aem slash Sling resolution which is the contained path. Uh, and then we have dot printable dot a4 which is a selector. This is an interesting thing on Sling. So you can have multiple rendition or options for a particular Sling resource. And based on um, the selector, it renders that particular version. Then we have uh, extension.html. It could be .html. It could be some other extension as well. But for now, if, as part of this URL, we have .html as the extension, uh, which is the content format. It could be PDF, it could be JSON, it could be anything. <coughs> then we have a slash p. These are suffix or additional information. So for example, if you have to configure uh, a different version of uh, different version of your page, maybe it's a client specific, maybe it's vendor specific, or maybe has a different branding, then we can use a by b uh, or to provide some additional information. And finally, we have uh, x equal to true which is uh, a url parameter it is generally used for any dynamic content it is advisable not to use lot of a uh, url parameter because that kills uh, the dispatcher catch you can know about dispatcher catch in my previous video i can uh, try to share a link as part of this video as well so yep so you can see that the whole url can be broken into five or six different pieces the protocol host name, content path, selectors, extensions, suffix, and finally the parameters. 
let's let's look into how sling resolves the request to resources so in this case we are talking about a sample url uh, learn aem.com slash aem slash sling resolution dot html so what sling does is it first checks whether the node exists so it navigates to uh, slash contains slash aem slash sling resolution and checks whether there is a node if if we have a node available then it checks uh, then it sends a response but if it does not find a node it will try to search without the extension like it will search to the sling resolution it will try to render a default one if still uh, there is no file on file or node found it returns a 404 if the file is found or the node is found the node property identifies the resource type and then locates the script to build the response and then uh, responds with the rendered output We'll, we'll we'll go over the details of identifying the resource type and locate in my next slide locating and rendering script uh, so the locate once once the url is mapped to a resource in sling we have something called resource type for every file right if you go to the content set you will have resource type this resource type tells about what scripts or what's the location of the script and resource to use so first thing it does is it identifies the resource from the request and locates this resource type and extract the values once 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 this is identified then it checks whether uh, there is a matching script we talked about script in terms of uh, for example print dot a4 dot html or or it could be any other identifier right if it doesn't find those scripts it will render the default script but if it finds um, the selectors then it will uh, it will prefer uh, the closest uh, selected match so for example in this case if we have a url learn am.com slash am slash sling resolution dot print dot a4 dot html it will first search whether we have print slash a4 dot html dot jsp if it is there it will uh, it will render this particular voice file number eight if it is not there then it checks whether there's a path print print slash a4 slash html if not then it goes for print slash a4 if not it will then go for print dot html and then it kind of follows the pattern so this way it kind of defaults to multiple layers so in case we have multiple match the best match is rendered first and then uh, we have a priority based on that uh, it it renders that particular content next we'll talk about the url link decomposition this is the most important um, slide if we if we able to understand this clear this is a great cheat sheet to understand any sling mapping so let's try to uh, re re let's try to go over all the different steps here so first thing is an http request the http request also has a type like most of the requests are get unless you use forms or other elements to post data to aem so once we have the http request we identify the path <coughs> once we have the path with us uh, we try to get the resource type I'm not going to get into selectors and suffix here because we discussed that in my earlier uh, section. So selectors is basically extra property or if we have multiple versions of uh, a particular output it renders based on the selector. Suffix provides extra parameters, extra inputs and uh, something like simple equal to true is, is a query parameter. So once we have uh, the path identified, it checks for, for the content resolution will go uh, and read the node property once it has the node property it will try to read this resource type once we have the resource type available it will then uh, then identify the script location based on the priority so generally scripts are located into two places slash apps folder and slash lips folder slash lips are um, all aem uh, default which comes with aem and slash apps is where we have our custom code or custom code or custom components available so once we have 
identify the sling resource it reads the value from the current node and maps it with the resource type and generates the content so if you see here we have script name uh, is again identified here and then in six once we have the script it maps with uh, the include include is basically uh, if you have any external template included as part of it but this is how it works uh, it identifies the resource path maps it with the resource type passes the content and then uh, passes the node properties and then renders the script once the script is identified it generates a page and returns the rendition so uh, in this quick video we learned about uh, high level sling resolution uh, we talked about processing the url request we talked about decomposing the url we talked about resolving the request and then we also talked about locating and rendering it so hope you guys uh, learned something out of this video if you have any um, questions and feedback please post that in the comment section i thank you again for watching this video and i will try to post more videos as i get some time but uh, i would really appreciate if you guys can spend some time to post a comment and share your feedback on this one till then uh, take care uh, see you soon thank you